Yo, 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 it's your boy Felix and welcome back to another interesting episode on 12 of FX and in today's episode I'll be analysing the Bitcoin against the US dollars. The first thing to do whenever giving an asset is to go to the higher time frame, in this case I'm on the weekly time frame. The reason why I go on the higher time frame is for me to see the overall um, trend of the market and in this case the market has been making higher highs and higher lows where this was a high, a low, a high, a higher high, a higher low and a higher high. So you're on an uptrend. And at the end of the five, and uh, according to the principles of Elliott Wave, an option unfolds in the five wave pattern. And at the end of the five wave pattern, what to expect could there be a retracement or a reversal? And so this was the, the first wave, the second wave, the third wave, the fourth, and the fifth. And at the end of this, could that be at the end of this fifth wave, could there be a retracement or a reversal? A reversal will lead to the break of this entire structure. So I mean the asset will come down and break the structure and if that happens that means the Bitcoin has collapsed but I don't think that's possible because due to the large number of investors and the billions of dollars that has been invested in this asset this asset can't be a reversal so it has to be a retracement and um, from the principle of with a retracement unfolds in a three-wave pattern where this could either be a five-wave pattern or a three-wave pattern this is always a three-wave pattern and this is always a five-wave pattern so to draw the five wave pattern, so the first wave, second wave, the third wave, the fourth wave, and the fifth wave. And like I said, at the end of a retracement, what to expect would be the continuation of this uptrend, you can see. So what to expect, a five wave pattern out of this. So with the aid of my trend channel, let's draw this. So from this moving, from this um, uptrend down there, this continuation of the trend down there, what to expect the price to get to as high as this level, which is like let's say around one one hundred and twenty thousand dollars thereabouts. Well, what I just explained to you is the market structure point of view, but to understand what's actually happening in this market, one is to understand the psychology behind every move in this market. So um, the market always take out internal liquidity and head towards area of external liquidity so in this area you have an external liquidity around this area because a lot of institutional traders took a heavy sell around this region so you have a lot of um, money resting above the region and additionally you have retail traders that see this as an area of resistance and they hope to buy on the break of this structure and you also have traders that see this as an area of resistance and they hope that the market gain a form of reversal around this region so they all have the stop loss place around this area so, um, so you have a lot of money resting above this area. Um, institutional traders are always aware of that. They always go towards area, areas of liquidity. So you can see from this area, they took a buy trade and the target was this area of liquidity. So their plan was to take out the liquidity resting above this region. And after that, a mitigation. What by mitigation? What by mitigation? institutional traders before they took this buy trade they sold you can see this small cell around this area they sold and it took out this liquidity before buying so what happens is that even though they were, they were in profit from taking this buy trade however they still have an open sell position that is running at a loss that they have to close before they can continue this up movement so what you expect will be this The first wave, the mitigation towards this area, this other block. The third wave, the retracement, the fourth wave, and the fifth wave. Already, we can see that in this first um, impulsive, first, in this first impulsive move, if you count the wave pattern in it, you get a five-wave structure. So this is the first wave second wave third wave the fourth wave and the fifth wave so if you're thinking of buying this asset as a long-term investor as if, so if you're thinking of buying this asset as a long-term investor you can take a buy trade now and your profit target will be around this area but to be around this area however to get a better risk to reward ratio i would advise you to wait for the market to 
come towards an area of discount. What would I mean by discount? I mean like to come to an area of discount. So what do I mean by discount? You have to wait for the institutional traders to, to first of all um, mitigate the position towards this other block around this area. And what comes next will be a continuation of the uptrend. So if you want to buy, you can wait for the market to retrace down towards the other block and then you take a buy trade. Or if you don't have the patience to um, wait, you can just as well buy and but you have to like be willing to accept a form of drawdown first before the market pick up its momentum. So like um if you like where I analyze, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys on the next episode. Thank you.